It's time for VCR party. I'm Joe. That's Nick. That's George. That's Steve. And we are, I'm here in the office and there's thousands of videos here and we're going to watch a bunch of them today. And uh, Nick, I haven't been in the office in a really long mm -hmm. time and we got some nice things in the mail, including a nice postcard from Boulder City. Steven sent this to us. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Halloween Steve. themed. Thanks. Also Steve. got this one. This, this ring a bell, mm -hmm. Nick? Babyland yeah. General in Cleveland, yeah. Georgia. Yeah, this is like this is the gift shop bag. Oh, Guess what? Oh, what's in there? Guess what? Uh, Jay Nathan and Jess went there. Oh. Said I recently went to Cleveland, uh, Georgia. <laughs> enjoy some gifts from Babyland General. Uh, and he wrote this using a magicillin, which is their pen. This is a pen at Babyland General. Oh, that's and, what they uh, inject the babies with too. Right, right, right when they're born to make them into dolls. Yeah. yeah, when they write on their ass, Xavier right. Roberts. <laughs> yeah. Right. There's another postcard from uh, Babyland General, Whoa. and then uh, Jay, Nathan, and Jess also sent the Marlboro Cookbook. Oh uh, man, which is, I'm just gonna eat out of this from now on. This is we're, all the food they're I'm spoiling us rotten. I know. This is uh, all good stuff. And then they also got us uh, a Dutton's uh, DVD, which we have some of the Dutton stuff. We don't have this one, but look at signed by all of them. Fantastic. There's so many Branson videos that are that have autographs on them that are at thrift stores. Do you see what Simon <laughs> Cowell said about uh, the Duttons? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> Do you really think he did? I don't know. Were they on like one of his talent shows? I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Well, uh, right. I got thank you, Jay, Nathan, Jess. Yeah, thanks for the gifts. I got some uh, videos in the mail. This one is uh, Revenge of the Dogs. This is a Cleveland Browns movie. Ooh, uh, cool. Art, art model. Now, I've actually seen this in digital form before, but I haven't had the VHS. So take that, art model. I had no choice. Oof. And it involves a, a wizard and um, all sorts of stuff. So I'm excited to uh, have this on VHS revisited for the NFL season. How Plus, long is it? What's the running time on it? What's your length? Um, you know, it doesn't say, but I think it's like 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's homemade like movie. And then this one, just in time for the holidays, uh, well, just in time for the scary holiday, it's scary stories. Doesn't this look absolutely bone chilling? We got a quilt. Is that, is that... <laughs> and we got some uh, people here telling stories. So these are traditional tales told scarily so what did simon cowell say about it God, you'll be you scared know, shitless yeah that's what he said right here you'll be scared shitless i'm simon cowell um yeah so some good uh some good tapes in the mail too for halloween lots of stuff lots of good stuff um hey you want to you guys want to talk about anything or do you want to get into a found footage festival classic they're not gonna unmute for this <laughs> <laughs> their hand oh, doesn't even go to the their hand doesn't even go to the mute button until we get to cyber videos. Otherwise, okay. they're just along for the ride. All right, I just want to see how they're doing. But okay. No, let's get them to a classic then. <laughs> You caught me with my pants down, but no one sells carpet or waterbeds for less. It's kind of like doing the show with two Harpo Marxes. Um, <laughs> you know, except they don't even have a horn to communicate. So it's just kind uh, of... Okay, there yeah. we go. Thank you. That's really um, yeah, uh, so it's a classic time. It's Hunktober, just a couple of weeks left, and it is it has flown by. Hunktober has flown by, been celebrating with family and friends. And I thought it'd be a good time to revisit Muscle Motion, the Chippendales exercise video. I, I put a I've shown a little bit of this before, but I just thought we'd watch some raw footage uh, from one of the segments on how to work out your waist. Here we go. Are you running low on uh, hunk no, stuff? No, no, oh, really? Absolutely, okay. barely scratched the surface. 
So. All this footage is raw. It actually <laughs> is, yeah. There's no easy way to get in shape. It's hell on wheels, you might say. That's why we've got our hard rider, our cycle savage, Michael the Outlaw Biker! No, you have a motorcycle. This could be... Yeah. Does he have green knows. wings? <laughs> I bet he does. And he's gonna give you a rough ride. This is how the whole video goes. Then it goes to these pre-taped so the parts. With a four-corner hippin, waste them, boys, waste them. Ready now? Yeah, that's what I do before every motorcycle ride. Yep. Pop -tops. Pull, pull, Me and Jakester. <laughs> you pull those pop tops? Yep. Hands up. Reach. Rock and roll those hips now. Rock and roll. Okay, pop tops on the other side. Pull. Oh, that's pull. a cool one. Pull. That cool? Yeah. Pulling the pop tops. Shake down that side. You know the position. Reach. Look at those wisps. Hips. He's got some major wisps. Yeah, he's got a little bit more going on than you do in the armpit he's got region. Some, he's but... got some thick ass wisps. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it's like to have thick wisps like that. Thick wisps. <laughs> I mean, Nobody's actually ever done exercise to this, have they? No. This whole tape is gold, though. I mean, look at how long this goes on. Then they're doing this. Then it gets into another vignette. And right before this, you had a little bit of uh, this is how you work out in the mirror. You can do this. Bend your knees if you have to. Sam, you're starting to attract the crowd. Ladies in the background. And then it gets to, like, here's what you do with your buddy while you're in the dressing room. Just like before Tom put it show. Yep, yep. that's what we do. <laughs> that's me on the right, that's Nick on the left. <laughs> <laughs> There's George and Steve silently in the back. There you go. Um, all right, oh. that's I mean this video is just uh, should we watch mean, it for an EP? It'd be good. It's really long, but uh it's just it delivers on every aspect. Mm. So yeah. There's actually Discovery Plus is their new subscription channel, and they have a, a true crime. Uh, series right now called the Chippendales Murders or something like that. It's about a, you know, murders that happen in the world of Chippendales. And I've actually been tempted to subscribe because I'm fascinated by the world of Chippendales. You like, and it's on Discovery Plus. Discovery right? so Plus. You want to yeah. discover the yes. <laughs> Chippendales? Is it is it fiction or is it? It's uh... true. It's actually true crime. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah, it's not. It's true, and I'm sure sensational. So I can't. I just can't pull the trigger on the 15 bucks a month or whatever it is for Discovery <laughs> Plus for that. So somebody report back. Yeah. Uh, hey, Steve, talk about uh, who you're selling out to this week. Uh, this week we are selling out to Josh from Lunch Meat. He's sponsoring us. And it's a perfect tie in for not only our show, but for the uh, Halloween uh, holiday. And basically it's a tape that you play during your parties. They have a um, it's a. Uh, it's like the uh, it's like the Christmas uh, Yule, Yule log log kind of thing, yes. but for Halloween. And uh, yeah, Josh was on uh, Saturday recently, and he told us that he was putting this out. And then uh, so yeah, it's out we'll today. Have, it's out uh, today. I think yeah, if you're having a Halloween party, like, and you have a VCR, this would be perfect because uh, he sent a video clip of it. Oh, oh let's see it. I haven't seen it yet. We're gonna, okay. So that's what your TV will look like. <laughs> it's a it's a TV of a TV. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's his example or. I think it's I hope... the example. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm sure that that what's on there will be the image that's on there. Okay. I think I don't know. I but like it's, it's us way it's showing cool. it. Yeah. It's, it. It's that video appearing on this show. Yeah, I, and I, guessing I like what it versions. is. <laughs> right. Yeah. And he also said that there is he wants he encourages everyone to watch and listen for spooky VHS surprises throughout the tape. Uh, this one rewards the attentive tape head. So there are going to be surprises. It's not just like when Ooh. you're with the U-Log, it's just the U-Log the entire time. Okay. Oh, so you, orange you VHS it. too. I don't know if yeah. I've ever seen that before. I feel like maybe there's one commemorative edition of Halloween, the movie that, that came on it, but rarely. I mean, you know, Barney's, of course, come on white. 
Yeah, VHS. that I know. Yeah, yeah. Did Nickelodeons were they on Orange or were they? Oh, they might have been. Actually, might have been. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, hmm. but I'm wondering where he's. They don't make VHS anymore. Maybe they do. I don't know where he's. There's specialty this stuff. manufacturers that do like one-off horror things. And things. Oh, okay. So I think okay. yeah, it's cool. All right, well, go to the website on the screen now and uh, order your limited edition. Hopefully, there's some left because hey. I yeah, yeah, definitely. I want, I'm going to order one for sure. Um, I want. I forgot to show a nice thing that I got in the mail. Oh yeah, like a couple of some nice things I got. Okay. Um, and because I, I want to wear one of them today, I got some hats. I got a cool cigarettes hat from uh, our buddy Mark, who uh, you know he's the American movie expert. He's edited some stuff for us. He's a good friend of the show. He's been on some EPs. He got me a cool. He and his girlfriend got me a cool hat. They also got me a Salem hat. You know how I like wearing cigarette uh, clothing? Yeah, you like advertising uh, for cigarettes. Yeah, I love it. Yes. Getting the word out. A corner. Uh, that'd be good for the winter. Exactly. It warm my head. And mm -hmm. then this one I got at a thrift store last week. I went to a Salvation Army and look at that. Oh, that hell yeah. Is. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. So what, which uh, one do you guys think I should wear today? Cool Salem or Applebee's? I'd go Salem, what, but what will go best with my shirt? Well, Applebee's has a sort of Halloween theme accidentally. Okay. okay. Isn't yeah. it a little orangey kind of on the brim? It's yellow and black, but uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll go with that. I got um, some uh, flying windows. I'm thrilled to show you today. Thrilled. Are you, are you rad thrilled? I'm just incredibly thrilled? rad thrilled to show you these mm. flying windows. Linopolis on uh, Twitter uh, sent me this one, and apparently it's a digitized tape from uh, a high school yearbook. So in 1989, Edina, a suburb of Minneapolis, did a uh, video yearbook for Edina High School. <laughs> it's so good. There's just windows flying. The soundtrack's incredible. And in fact, there's a song uh, in this that I want to play on the way out tonight. So don't go anywhere. Even if the show sags in the middle, stay tuned because you're going to want to see It's usually where it sags. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But Look at it. Did you just oh. see that? A yeah. flying window within a flying window. Holy shit. This must be one of those smart people's schools. Yep. This must be like an engineering school. So that was just the intro for the production company. Now we get into the actual video yearbook. More flying windows. Wow. Well, they went with some super slow raw doggers. Yep. Raw dog super slow. Drop shadow, though. And then I just included this part from the actual. This are no more flying windows, but I included this part. They're doing like... Um, I don't know, just a bunch of footage, I guess, they shot throughout the year. And there's somebody who works in the cafeteria who I guess did impressions. And you can't really hear him that well because the music's blurring, but it's worth trying to discern what he says here. All your son, Oh, Did was that his reel? Did you? Yeah, yeah, that was his reel. I think he was hoping to be discovered by this uh, video yearbook <laughs> creation here. And he I was love, right now. I love how loud the music is. Through, I know. The whole thing too. <laughs> I just love that you can barely hear his impressions. Yeah. Uh, but I'm trying to figure out what his first one was. Um, his Jimmy first Stewart? one is Jimmy Played Stewart. Again. Oh, okay. Jimmy Stewart. Then he does um, Popeye. 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 But before that, he does a sneeze as Donald Duck. He oh, sneezes okay. as Donald Duck, then gets into Popeye. <laughs> Then I believe he does Mickey into Goofy, and then he does uh, Donald Duck again. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he really crammed in a bunch. Let's hear yeah. it again. All your son, uh, come, 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 start, uh, you say love the playing as a... I forgot about Popeye in there too. Did you just, did you hear Popeye? His Popeye's, his Popeye's actually pretty good. Pretty good, uh, yeah. I think he did, I think he did olive oil after Popeye. 
I, oh, is that okay? I could have been Mickey Mouse, could have been all well. Did anybody else hear any make out any other impressions? I didn't. I'm trying to figure out what he does between the sneeze and Popeye. He's like talking about something, and I have no idea. <laughs> well, let's like, get to the bottom of this. We got nothing but time. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's... This is where the show sags right here. Yeah. <laughs> But oh, we got a little bit of preview of what the outro is going to be. Okay. Uh, also, is he a student or is he a is he an employee? He seems older than high school to yeah, me. Boy. Okay, but, yeah, I think they just he's a colorful cafeteria worker that they. I bet be he would camera. always do impressions, like when the kids are mm-hmm. coming through and getting their food. I bet he'd always. I bet he was like, yeah, a fun cafeteria worker. Sorry, I'm the boy the sailor man. Oh, you're speaking of. He says I, something I, no I, respect. I, oh, really? I thought it was um, um, Robin Williams. He's like, sorry, sorry. Mm, is mm. it Robin Williams? I thought I heard a Robin Williams in there, too. Yeah. Is it when he does? He kind of goes, <laughs> he kind of makes a farting noise, and then he goes, sorry. And then he goes into um, all of, or goes into Popeye, and Robin Williams played Popeye. Oh, so maybe. Yeah. Oh, no. Nick, are you able to turn down the generic music bed? Yeah, let me see what uh, I can do here. Uh, you just like, yep. is there a button you can push? Uh, to... Yeah, there we go. That okay. should do it. Okay, <laughs> let's try it one more time. There's a kid at every school who could do the Donald Duck Ooh. impression, right? His, his Donald Duck's pretty good. I think his Popeye's pretty good, too. I'll give him that. Not bad. The other ones, uh, the other ones uh, take could believe some work. Yeah. yeah, Everybody can do a Jimmy Stewart. It's just like yeah. everybody can do a Jack Nicholson, right? They could do somebody else's impression of Jimmy Stewart, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, but anyway, that whole video is, I mean, that'd be another good EP mode. I think it's about 40 minutes long. It's, I mean, there's a lot of filler, but it's pretty, pretty damn good, so... Um, yeah, that's uh, thanks to Linopolis for sending that on Twitter, and you're gonna see more on the way out tonight. Oh, more impressions at the end, or is it, uh... Uh, it's just it's a great original song that must have been in every yearbook video oh, and uh, with scenes from the high school. So, more flying yeah. windows, no, but a lot okay. of great scenes, sli- fine. slices of life. Yeah, that's fine. Um, hey, you want to see some celebrity? bullshit? I got I, I got a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit differently here because this is a movie. And like, of course, celebrities are in movies, but this is a movie called Night Friend. And Nick, I know that you know what this mm-hmm. is. You, we've shown this before. George, Steve, have you guys seen a show Night Friend before? You have? So. Okay. Nope. So, okay, I don't think there are any like, big names in this uh prism put it out in uh 1989 and uh but there's one guy that they feature on the cover here who just kind of takes you by surprise you don't you don't expect it to be him and he doesn't even really play a big role in the movie because i watched a little bit of it today and uh the tagline is Lindsay's coming of age in a world of prostitution yep uh teenager by day prostitute by night night friend who do you think is underneath that post-it note right there? I'll give you a hint. Mm-hmm. It's an old-timey actor. He was he acted in uh, maybe the first the, the first biggest sitcom of all time. Um, he was also in the Star Wars holiday special uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, George, it seems like you're pretty sure who you think it is. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I remember his character's name. I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, <laughs> it's it, it, the, the guy who played uh, Ed Norton is Steve? my guess. Who do you got, Steve? You could, Steve, you could steal I, this. I, I'll just say Jackie Gleason. I don't know. Okay. George, you got it? You got five I, seconds. No, five. I don't. I won't hit. Okay. And I'm just going to reveal it here, and then I'm going to show you a clip from it. The person we're looking for is... Art Carney. <laughs> there he is. He's, no, he's the in a movie friend. about prostitution. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lindsay's coming of age. So it's like a headshot, of... too. It's not like. <laughs> it, is. It, it, is. it looks like so... a celebrity meet and greet, like a <laughs> yeah. snapshot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the one that he autographs. For Hi, like is this 40... for the celebrity dinner? No. <laughs> Let me take your picture real fast. We're putting it in. Yeah. For like uh, 40 bucks. Yeah. You can get your photo. Sorry. This is the set uh, of Night Friends. 
<laughs> but now you're in the movie. <laughs> All right, here's a, a scene from Night Friend, and it's really boring. And I, I didn't even really recognize him in the movie. Um, I think this is, yeah, this is definitely him. Um, but it's a really boring scene, so I added a sound effect just to make it a little bit more exciting. Uh, so uh, let's just observe silence during the serious scene. He plays uh, a priest, and there's another priest that's trying to save Lindsay from the world of prostitution, and he's butting heads with Art Carney, uh, who is in the uh, Star Wars Holiday Special. All right, here it is. Here's the scene. I want to make sure that some boys are there to uh, pick up the line. <laughs> Have a good day, Monsignor. I'll try, Jack. I'll try. Uh. Yeah, so I added that burp at the that end. That made it better. That made it more yeah. fun. It certainly yeah. did. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so that uh, it, the movie's pretty boring, too. So I, I watched a little bit of it. And uh, actually, there's some good parts. There's the, the pimp is a pretty good over the top character. Mm. Uh, he plays guitar and he, uh, yeah, he likes rock and roll. So um, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch more of it. Maybe I won't. I probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's celebrity bullshit. Um, you know, every time we show a VHS clip, it is a potential costume for the third annual VCR Party Found Footage Festival Halloween contest. Uh, the deadline is November 1st um, at, uh, I think, 4 p.m. Eastern. You can email us at info at foundfootagefest.com with your costume based on a tape. You could go as the Monsignor and Night Friend. That could be a oh, fun yeah. costume. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that could be a good one. The bar has been set high. But you can just do a low key costume too. It doesn't matter. We just want to see the good costumes. We got good prizes to give out. And uh, here's some from our first annual. This is from 2019. This is uh, Dark Lord Blood, of course, um, Prince of the Night, uh, who we have since met. He was in our Halloween special, the real guy. Prince of the Night. Mm -hmm. Prince of the Night. Yeah, that's what I'm calling like him. <laughs> Satanic worshiper. Uh, but look at this. This is a. Uh, uh, Hang on. What are we? Oh. Here's Jeffrey oh. as Dark Lord Blood, and he put his own lower third graphic on his uh, shirt. Did did he win? He had to have won that. He year. was in the that top was three. So good. Okay. He was in the top right. three. He, yeah. Oh man, that yeah. The, the lower third on the on the shirt alone yeah. is <laughs> with the that. two red stripes of the Yes. Uh, amazing. Yes. Okay. Just this is, uh, of course, we all remember the fabulous ones just in time for Hunktober. They're a wrestling team from Memphis. And then here's what uh, Nick and Jen from Chicago did for Brick of Brack Records. They got uh, these, and I believe so Nick is shirtless uh, with the bow tie, I think, yeah. stuck, stuck with duct tape to his chest. Yeah. His that's, oh, man, that's so good. Where did they get those? those shirts? Or those, I uh, think I asked coats. them, and they said they got them on Amazon, and we're going to return them the next day. So okay. it's a good, good yeah, Halloween yeah. costume tip for everybody out there. Uh, this, of course, is from Rock's winning workout without weights, Daryl Silverthorne. And uh, this is Ross in St. Louis's version of Daryl Silverthorne. <laughs> posture. He's got the posture. You know, I never noticed. Go, can you go back to Daryl? Was he standing on that towel? He's standing and, oh, on yeah. a, like a yoga a wrestling mat, basically. And, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he have the, does uh, Ross, have, yeah, he has the bike in the background yep. too. Yep, yep, there it is. Yep. Pretty accurate. <laughs> uh, here we have um, Ginny, uh, this oh, is BB yeah. Bunny, BB Bunny. Right. And uh, this is uh, Ginny's version. Uh, play like you played yesterday. <laughs> uh, that wig is, <laughs> the wig and glasses like, are dead on. Oh, and just the everything. Like, the, is that a necklace? The, yeah, the same yeah. Kind of like pendant necklace. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the, the sport check. Wow, yeah, it's really good. It's really accurate. OK, this we have the mole killer here. <laughs> this is a memorable video. And then uh, this is Judah's version of the mole killer. <laughs> and not only did he autograph it, because I guess you could get an autograph or he had autographed our VHS cover, the mole killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover. And uh, he's got a mole here. And he also has uh, the shirt that you could get at the end. Yep. That's he made the shirt. Yes. And, uh, and he sent us those shirts too. I got to wear that shirt more often. Yeah. And it's exactly how it is. Like it's, it's like white on a light blue. So yes, it's really hard to really read. Like it. that's, yeah. that's how they actually made the shirts. Too, this should be so. a shirt that's hard to explain. Sweet success. Yes. We got to make doing? a sweet success. Yeah. It, yes. Okay. Sweet All success. Right. That's coming up next. But we have another one we're going to talk about. We'll talk about it at the end. 
Um, uh, okay, this is a, these people won. This is, uh, of course, we just watched this, I believe, on EP. Did we miss ATV? No, we didn't, but uh, no. we watched. Oh, no, no, no. We watched Mr. TSW. TSW. Yeah, yeah. A beauty pageant from uh, England. And then this was uh, Scott and Megan. Oh, that's impressive. That's so impressive. Yeah. And just the, and the background and just everything. Yeah. The whole thing. Yep. <laughs> And then this was a contender. Uh, of course, we know our mascot. This is Tapey. Uh huh. Um, but uh, it's right back here. Yep, there's Tapey. Uh -huh. um, but look what Sam did. This is oh, wow. I mean, the yeah, attention to down detail. Down. Next, hard to explain okay. costume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at he's at a party too. He's got the uh, look at the uh, chips in the back. I just and noticed. Like, that's not easy to like walk around at a party and he's probably no. sweating and he has no peripheral vision. Looks like oh, yeah, look at all this crock pot and like three things of chips there. So this oh, is a the, hell of a party. Definitely. But if he probably had trouble eating like that seven layer dip. Like yeah. how would he even eat that yep. in that costume? And he's going to run into things. I mean, I tip my head. I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Of all the Melindas in the world, we have the best Melindas. The it's best true. Melindas, the most talented Melindas watch so. our show. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to get that ambitious, but we do love the creative costume. So think about, uh, go through past episodes of VCR Party, look at your found footage, fest DVDs or downloads, and pick a fun costume. We'll be dressed up next Tuesday. It'll be our Halloween pre-show, and uh, it'll get everybody in the spirit. And then we'll I, reveal the winners on, on uh, November 2nd, I believe. I already found my uh, low-effort costume that I'm going to be oh, wearing yeah? for next week. I already figured it out. It's going to be very low-effort. But I think it's pretty good because, uh, right. yeah, yeah, I think I, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the only problem is I might have to shave off my beard for it, which Ooh. I'm not excited about that. You know, reveal the second chin and everything. I don't. Really yeah, know. we'll we'll see. We'll see. I have a uh, high effort costume I work on for two weeks, so I'm uh, <laughs> excited for that one, too. Hope that comes together. George, Steve, how what level of effort are your uh, I need help? I, ha I have one as a fallback, but that's not, it's very low effort. Um, yeah. You'll your wife is one. an artist. She's an interior decorator. I mean, you can ask her for help. I could. I don't. I think that it would be tough to explain uh, and go through even what the choices of characters that we have to choose from. <laughs> I think you're going to go for your backup low effort one. I think that's what you're going to end up doing. Yeah. <laughs> I found uh, I was on Amazon ordering all the parts and then I realized I had all of them already among <laughs> my my costumery. So it's I don't know. Is that a, is that low, medium? effort i don't know it's always high effort with you it's mm -hmm. definitely we'll see really okay yeah. i right. i'm actually a little worried that george and i might be going as the same thing so I, that's my <laughs> one that's my one concern but actually it'd be really funny if that happens i actually oh, thought yeah. about it and i was like should i run it by him i'm like no it'll be really funny if we both show exactly. Up <laughs> oh, exactly. so next week don't go anywhere it's going to be the nielsen boxes will all be tuned in to the found footage halloween show mm -hmm. uh, bcr party Okay, it's state jingles time. We got Ohio this week, so let's get into it with George's uh, incredible jingle to get us into the state jingles. State, 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 Commonwealth, Commonwealth. State, 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 Commonwealth, Commonwealth. State, 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 jingles. Can't forget those Commonwealths. Too often people do. But uh, I think it's time to review some state flags. Judah, who we just saw dressed up as a mole killer, <laughs> uh, makes state flags for all the winners. And uh, we've got an updated list now of all the previous state jingle winners. Of course, we take a state or a commonwealth and we, uh, we try to determine what the official state jingle should be based on their commercials. Here we have Rhode Island's Warwick Mall, where Joe and I visited, actually. Yeah, we drove right by us, where Steve had his first French kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere near there. Um, this is uh, Pennsylvania, Georgia's home state. We got Tasty Cake. Nobody bakes a cake as tasty. <clears throat> we have uh, New York, where we all live. This is Genesee Cream Ale. I like it because there's nothing like it. We've got uh, Wisconsin, Menards, the $688 save big money jingle. Uh, then we have uh, Hawaii. We got uh, The Look, Channel 9. Beautiful. This is my personal favorite. This is uh, Oklahoma, Mr. Spriggs barbecue jingle. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I mean, 
Yes. That, I mean, I want that flag and I want to fly it proudly in front of my house, even though I'm not even in Oklahoma. I mean, listening meats and uh, a still from the actual commercial for Mr. Springs barbecue. So, yeah. All right. So Ohio, one of our favorite states, we just booked uh, shows in um, Cleveland and Columbus. Um, so we'll be there in December. Come see us. But in the meantime, we'll give you a little taste with some jingles sent in by uh, some of our viewers and some ones I've told as well. So Mo C um, sent one. Uh, this is his actual name's Brian. He sent one that uh, I feel like there's one of these for every state. It's like the local news channel. This in this case, it's from Columbus. It's like we have one in Wisconsin, like hello, Wisconsin. Hello, Wisconsin. It's like just promoting the state kind of. But your well, news- Canada has them, too. They have yeah, them all over yeah. the place, like every place. Every city has one. I remember growing up listening to them in every city that I lived in. And yeah. Yeah, so most of these the spirit of Ohio. It's powerful, like most of these are. Take a listen. Ohio's home to me, so I tell you what I feel and see. From one Ohio to another, like a sister to a brother, bringing the spirit of Ohio. Come help us celebrate. That's good. That's powerful, good. right? Hey, can, what, I have a question. What were they all excited about bringing them over on the couch? They're all like, come on, hurry, quick. It's on. It's on. What are they all like? Uh, it's uh, Faces of Death. <laughs> come help us celebrate. And a train, hits, a train hits all those graduates. You get to see it. So they're oh, all, right. pretty, they're yeah, all yeah. excited. I thought that was the Facts of Life, an actual episode of the Facts of Life. Isn't it's like they're, yeah, I think that's them. I think that's uh, Tootie, right? That's the only one I know from Texas. <laughs> Blair. Powerful jingle. Oh, love it. So, all right. Spirit of Ohio on six. Next up, this one is a little different, and I like how recent it is. Allison and Jay sent this in. It's for a company called Video Game Underground. And this used to be, like you said, in college, uh, they, they said... If you had the TV Guide channel on, the you know it was very cheap to buy advertisements on the local TV Guide channel, and uh, so this one is from Toledo, and it was for a company called Video Game Underground, and uh, it's I'm excited to show this one. Unlike other jingles, I think we've seen. Video Game Underground has the best video games in town. Video Game Underground has the best. On games around video game underground has the best video games in town. Video game underground has the best price on games around. Video game underground. <laughs> Tempo change. <laughs> oh, that's the winner. That's, that's, yeah, that's going to be impossible to beat. I, uh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. So good. George, you're a musician. So- I trust your judgment on that one. Yeah, I think that, again, that seems like uh, uh, something that would be on the background of a TV in Gummo, because that, which took place <laughs> in Ohio, right? Xenia, Ohio. So, I think oh, did it? so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, also, I love those channels where it's just like, it's just the scrolling of like what's on like HBO yeah. right now, as if like you're just going to sit there and wait for the, <laughs> like, watch it and decide what you're going to watch on that channel. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it'd just be like on if you didn't if you forgot to change the channel, you know, like that would yeah. just kind of be on. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'll be in a flea bag hotel, like when we're doing our solo college shows and those channels still exist. Mm-hmm. I'll still like turn to them. I'll be like, Holy shit. They still do these weird TV guide channels. Um, we should, and, uh, we should, we should put some advertising on those. Yeah. Cause it's really cheap. They still have ads. Yeah. We recorded one in um, Las Vegas. Remember uh, or no, in Niagara Falls. Yes. Remember, we should play that. I gotta find that. I, I have it on my phone. That. I think. And we, it was on a loop. Yeah. And you could see the uh, the the cursor on it, like you could see the uh, the clicker, the mouse clicker, or whatever the the arrow. The cursor. On it. Remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, and it was just on a loop, and we watched. We just kept it on that channel the entire night and the entire morning. Oh, and man. memorized it. We'd be like, okay, what's coming up next? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Pollock is coming. Kevin Pollock's day. show, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. so Norton Furniture. We've showed some Norton Furniture commercials from Cleveland before. I think 
maybe Laura, uh, who was just on Saturday Morning Cartoons watching the Crypt Keeper, uh, Tales from the Crypt Keeper, I think she was maybe the first person who showed the Norton Furniture guy. And you remember he had kind of has that raspy voice. There is a jingle at the end of these furniture commercials that is is catchy. So, uh, but it's it kind of goes quickly. So, and it's a little distracting too because the commercial is so great. But kids, what time is it? It's time to go to Norton Furniture. Look, Look it's my Norton. Norton. You know the kids are right. If you can't get credit at Norton Furniture, you can't get credit anywhere. Mark. Can you really guarantee same day delivery? Yeah. Goof, you just get the <laughs> out of me. 616-687-1660. I mean, a lot's happening there. <laughs> so the jingle is almost an afterthought, but. Um, Doesn't it remind you of Detroiters? Like, uh, like, yeah, their job was to make local commercials and all their local commercials seemed like a Norton Furniture commercial. Yeah. It's like they record their own music. And oh, man, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've never heard the song, though, before. Yeah, it's in a lot of the commercials, but they, a lot of times it gets talked over. So it's six. It's just the last four digits, too, which you think how you can tell it's local. Okay. Good one. Norton Furniture. All Not right. Better than video game underground, though. Well, uh, this one I found on my own because I was like, we need some more Cincinnati representation. La Rosa's Spaghetti Restaurant, 1986. Come on in to La Rosa's Family Night on Monday and Tuesday for Spaghetti A Plenty. While it is the only taste we know. Spaghetti A Plenty, a complete meal. Spaghetti with salad and fresh baked Italian or garlic bread. Come on in. Big people, $2.99. Little people, 99 cents. While it is the only taste we know. Because if you like spaghetti, you love La Rosa. See you Monday and Tuesday. Because if Classic. you like spaghetti, you love La Rosa's. Classic. Spaghetti a plenty a Dick Tracy villain? Was that, did they <laughs> yes, get I Chester Gould's was. approval? I don't know. Yep, spaghetti a plenty. Um, what, what's their what's their thing in Cincinnati where they heap a shitload of shredded cheese on top of with like skyline chili? chili. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a Cincinnati thing, right? Yeah, I they remember. have a jingle. It's not that great, so I didn't put skyline. But yeah, and it's on pasta, and the secret is cinnamon and the chili. I believe is the. Yeah, it's like spaghetti them. with chili on it, and then just like a, like two pounds of shredded cheese. And I remember I got it, and I did it like when we were doing a show there, and I got it before the show. Ooh. and just the stomach ache. But I mean, it, it sounds great on paper, you know, yeah. like everything yeah. checks out. I like all the I like all the components, but right. together, it uh, equals a stomach ache for me. And I kind of felt like I went to, into Skyline, not not great vegan options there, but it kind of smelled like pee in the restaurant from my memory. So. Um, I didn't put a, I went with La Rosa's instead for Cincinnati, but let's, uh, let's head back to Columbus. Um, Mo C sent this one. And I think if anything, wait, did could... you just go in there and like smell it and then walk out? What did you, did you, no, I went in with or? you when you ordered and oh, watched okay. you get it. And then, oh, that yeah. was your, okay. Your memory was that it smelled like pee. I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah. Oh. I just remember like a vague urine smell inside the restaurant. What did you do while I was ordering? Did you just kind of sit back, maybe check your phone? Uh, yeah, that probably was doing that. Yeah. Okay. All yep. Right. Good question. No further questions. <laughs> so Mosi sent this one. I think if anything could uh, unseat Video Game Underground, it might be this. It might even be an unfair ringer. I'm not sure. It's a little commercial called Atlas Butler. Oh. At Atlas Butler, we get all kinds of great wow. letters from customers, and we really appreciate them. I just wanted to tell you about my dogs, Atlas and Butler. <laughs> Wonder why I named them that? Because <laughs> they're my buddies for life. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> they come when I call them. They try not to mess up my house, and well, they smile every time I see them. <laughs> I'm strangely moved. Atlas Butler is at your service call 1 800 Furnace. So, yeah. God damn it. This just got really difficult. I know. I mean, Ohio is just stacked with great jingles. But, I, before you get into your thoughts, let me just play one more that I found from Cincinnati again. That is, did he? Did that guy mention if his nose was full of yuck anymore? No mention of the yuck. 
Okay. No, nobody yawned mid commercial. And dogs <laughs> yawn dogs yawn a lot too. So I was expecting them to, but nope. Um this one is for a commercial I found today while searching through uh Ohio commercials from Cincinnati. It's called Patio Enclosures. It's short and sweet, and it's my personal favorite. Patio Enclosures Incorporated, an affordable alternative. Call for a free home estimate during our preseason sale. Someone new you know is the one and only Patio Enclosures. Someone Ooh. near you knows the one and only Patio. And then she kind of has that enclosure. She kind of puts a little That's really dramatic. to it. Yeah. yeah. An affordable alternative. Call for a free home estimate during our preseason sale. Someone new you know is the one and only Patio Enclosures. Those are the state jingles for the state of Ohio. Um, That's a good so one. That is a good one. I, I need the seed to blossom. I need to let it like sit and just to blossom. Um, is it possible to hear Video Game Underground again? Video Game <laughs> Underground. Video. I can't get it out of my head. It's okay, dirge-like. Right. That's it's a, it's yeah, yeah. very dirge-like, and then it changes. It has that computer-animated machine that's spitting out <laughs> video games at one point. It's like almost like a, a sausage, you know, like a Pink Floyd the Wall sausage. Video thing, but... Game <laughs> Like a Lawnmower Man three. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rap rock, isn't it? This is rap it, rock. It goes, yeah, it's a little bit. Or, or it's like related. It's it's metal. It's new metal, I think. Yeah. Um. Let's hear more. This machine, I like the oh, yeah, little. Yeah. I like the little <laughs> legs on the machine too. It's got like four little sticks. Oh, that, I'm glad you played this again because I didn't even notice that before. Yeah. Yeah. Video games <laughs> underground has the best prices on games around. That's it. That's the winner. That's the winner. <laughs> there it is. It's, yep. I thought maybe Atlas Butler after I heard it, but no. That's mm. it. That's my that's my vote. Video okay. game underground. George, where that's are you going? One. Video game underground still? You know it. All yeah. right, Steve. Without a doubt. Really? <laughs> Spaghetti of plenty, patio enclosure. So I've, I've now started a new thing where I write down my scores because I get, uh, oh. you know, as you hear them, I'm like, I'm Can going. Can we see it? Can you so, hold it up? Uh, Can we see what, uh, what you're, <laughs> say some you're words. not going to be able to. It's a window into his madness. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I did, uh, uh, for like Morosa, I wrote uh, Real Music <laughs> 7.3. Uh, so I thought that I was like, I bet you like, I was thinking about the musicians that got in there and then they, they probably think they nailed it. And I was like, you know. I thought they did a good job. Uh, I put Atlas Butler and uh, Video Game Underground at the same score, but mm. after the replay, I got to give it to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Yeah, that was a, a lot of left field from Allison and Jay there. Well, uh, and you know what I'm most excited about is what Judah's going to do with the flag. Oh, you well, know, that machine like, with the little sticks being I it? I think uh, he's going to probably focus on the machine with the little sticks that would, that would, uh, <laughs> sausage out video games. ideas would go in uh, and then video or, games would come out of it i think yeah, yeah 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 like uh yeah video games with the great bargains that, that come out yep it's just like video games that are like four years old so will uh the buckeye state be the video game underground state we will find out but it's up to you you need to vote at patreon.com slash found footage festival you don't need to be a patron just go to that website and uh make your voice heard we will announce the results uh i think in two weeks mm. All right. Nice. Uh, nice work. That's uh, a nice, a nice roundup of uh, Ohio. I feel like I, I feel like I've seen their best. Thank you. Oh, we looks like we have a, a, a bit of a George segment here. Is that, is that George? Do you have a segment for us? Yeah. It's a little thing called. Yes, another. This is part two in our uh, continuity breaking game show. Um, Mask me another. Steve, you're going to have to play catch up here. Essentially. Well, wait, Steve, did you watch? Oh, wait, wait. We haven't shared this episode yet, have we? <laughs> no. It's oh. out of order. Okay. Part two oh, will I air see. before part one. Exactly. So we're airing part two. Next week will be part one. Okay. All right. 
Well, this Saturday will be part one. It, yeah. It'll be a prequel. Yeah. Um, but this is um, this is uh, these are the um, categories of for which you will pick a category and dollar amount, dollar point amount, and you will see a mask from a a crappy mask from a crappy costume, and you have to guess what the costume is. Um, this and, is a super fun game, George, and that's why I wanted to play it again. Today and the impossible because... category is no joke either, Steve. So <laughs> be warned. I, I, so went I, get... for the, I went big on impossibles and like I'm not going to touch them anymore. Well, don't give away the ending there because there was a lot. It was a that was a sh- I thought maybe we wouldn't get to a part two, but we did. So so let's uh, this time we're going to go. Um, I guess last time we went Joe first, right? Yeah, and I think we have to go Joe again because otherwise we'll be mad. Then we go to Steve, and yep. go to Nick. Okay, so Joe, okay, we're gonna do two rounds. Yes. Yep. So, okay. All right. I'm gonna do. Listen to this. I'm gonna do TV and movies for 100. Okay. I'm gonna just get points on the board. I, yeah, I, I sure hope so. Because that that would be a new um, that would be a new strategy for you. You yeah. thought about it, right? Mm-hmm. I've been thinking about this game all week. TV and movies for 100. Who do we have? Are steals allowed? Yeah, I was about to ask the same. <laughs> they aren't, but they, they, you will have the satisfaction of being right after Joe apparently gets it wrong. Uh, I'm going to go with, hold on. I think I got it. I'm going to go with Scott Bayo. Charles in charge. You, you get it for Scott Bayo, but technically this was a Joni oh. loves Chachi. Yes. Okay. One. But <laughs> Bayo is Bayo. And yes, uh, Bayo is Bayo. <laughs> good work. <laughs> good work, Joe. Yes. Um, on the board. Well, Nick, what, what were you and uh, Steve? What were you guys going to say? Joni loves Bayo. Chachi. You weren't going to say Joni. <laughs> I was. No. I was, I was like, is it Happy Days mm. or Joni loves Chachi? Classic Nick answer right there. I was going to say the right one. Well, mm-hmm. if I would have sure. had a chance to steal, I would have. Mm-hmm. You would have heard me say that. Uh, that's not how this game's played. Mm. Steve, what do you say and for how much? Oh boy, do I want to go big? But Joe's warned me against it. Go, go try the impossible one just for laughs. Just try it. No, I'm gonna go failed toys for a thousand. I think I won't get that. Oh, Ooh. Wow, that might actually be harder than impossible for a thousand. Wow. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> what the did point, you saw the, the point, point values, values are they tell the story with the difficulty? Yes, all right, all right, <laughs> Steve. I'm so sorry in advance, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> What is oh. this a mask for? Re- use some reasoning here. Um, so there's no hints beyond just the mask, right? That's it, right, right George? Okay. Looks like it I'm has gonna... four uvulas as like a <laughs> mid-brow. I'm going to go with, um, what is that? Uh, oh, it's filled toys. Um, I'll still go with uh, Planet of the Apes. Oh, Steve. This was uh, Lionheart from the Supernaturals, a failed toy line. <laughs> what? <laughs> we oh, we saw the commercial on an episode of Saturday Morning Cartoons. But what's great about it is that it was only available <laughs> from uh, if you, from the inside of a Polaroid Instant Film Pack. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? Oh, uh, woe be the kid who went trick or treating that. <laughs> but it's uh, uh, it's pretty hard to you find. Got a ghost, a pirate, and what are you supposed to be? <laughs> Well, I was inside a Polaroid pack. But, but like, so you had to save up the Polaroid pack proof of purchases and then you could send it. They probably only made like 50 of them. Don't you think? Uh, so who's going to do that? I don't know. It, it's a mystery. But let me ask uh, Nick Pruer. TV and movies for 400. Mm. A brave man. Mm. I'm waiting like so I, far just so, feel we, like just I, so we all know. Our, our, huh? our point totals from last week. They're from Saturday. Well, there's there are going to be two ways of counting this. Okay. Um, and we're looking in your direction because you're the math guy. Oh, here we go. Oh, duh. It's easy. All right. I'm going to say this is from Alien. That is correct, and it is the first R-rated costume by Ben Cooper. Ooh. Um, and I love it because just like the actual Alien, it had a picture of the Alien on his chest. Yep. Head. And How did you get alien out of that? Because it looked like an HR Geiger thing on the uh, the lower part of the mask. And what's or great is, is I found from the Miami Herald. Here is a kid dressed up in the costume. 
uh, I don't, I couldn't find the context there, the article, but this is it in, in, uh, it's easily the coolest, the it's that easily is the a, coolest costume so far Yeah, of any of the costumes you've shown. I mean, the lion is pretty awesome from the naturals, <laughs> supernaturals. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to go with, so it's my turn, right? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to go with, um, Video games for 400. Okay. At some point, there's going to be a behind the scenes of what I have to do to get to the mask, and it's going to be funny. All right. <laughs> Joe. Oh, I know that guy. What is oh, this a mask? What's for? the category again? Video games. Hmm. Oh, what is he? He's like, he's the bad guy. He's some sort of like minion in some sort of like, uh, oh, I want to say, uh, uh, I'm gonna just go with Mega Man, uh, Mega Man Minion. Uh, any guesses from from go Miss- Missile Command? I, I, Steve, that was correct. That is the wow. Missile Command. Wow! It was the, the cover of the of the box, um, and this is of course the game. <laughs> yes, I love on. this game. I had this game. <laughs> but it's, a, it's, game. A, it's a direct line between this picture and this picture, mm-hmm. wouldn't you say? Those oh, yeah. are the pants he wore too. Yeah, <laughs> that's how he stopped the missiles. <laughs> Just like you're in the game. <laughs> um, ah, oh, god damn it! All right, I got a hundred points. Nick's winning. Uh, you could, uh, yeah. Well, do I get the four hundred for that? No. Oh, no. Yeah. That was me there. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what do you what do you got, uh, Steve? Uh, boy. Um. Who has the most point? Who has the most points right now? I have hundred. Nick has four hundred. They go with failed toys for nine hundred. <laughs> what? Wow! You didn't learn oh. your lesson. You're a wild man. Right. I just want to see what the crazy things is going to have back <laughs> yeah. then. That's that's the tough part about this game. Is it more fun to to try to well, win you, or if something? You want to you... see? Yeah, the rest that we did that were already off the board. Watch Saturday morning cartoons this Saturday, Steve. What is this? A I think I know. Puppy. Well, that, that's a failed toy, though. That's a successful toy. Yeah. It's point. probably some knockoff. Make up a knockoff name. I don't know. My guess would be there are 11 people on Earth who would get this. Do you have guys have any guesses? I, I want to like say, I'm... like, uh, yeah. Um, uh, a foofer? <laughs> I'll say foofer. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to say dog donuts. That's, that's a good guess. This is something called fluffy dogs, which was oh. Uh, oh, it so was good. it was a um, a Disney wonderful world of Disney. Yeah. It was a failed pilot and as, as well as a failed toy. But they did make the toys. And, and as evidence, they even had a lunchbox. And this is the thermos for that lunchbox, which makes me think there should be something called the thermos test to show how successful something got. Mm. I mean, like fluffy dogs we've never heard of, but it did get a thermos. So right. somebody oh. there should be should be happy with themselves because, the, you know, their property got yeah. a thermos. Didn't get I like up, that. but we got a thermos. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the small yeah that's what we expected. They won't but... give a thermos to, any, every, to everybody, right? You have that's to be cool. special to get a thermos. Um, what do you think? I mean, there's a lot left to go here. Do you want to do one more round, one more bonus round? What? I would do it. Sure. Nick, Nick has one. You, you. This is you. Oh yeah. Oh, it's Nick's turn. All right. Sorry, yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Chat toys for three hundred. Okay. Chat tunes. Sorry, chat tunes. <laughs> I almost took it away from you there. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. I'm sorry. For how much? Two hundred or three hundred? Three hundred. Nick. Um, is this Herculoids? Is that your guess? That's my guess. Yeah. Uh, Joe, what were you going to say? Huh? Oh, go ahead. Just, gonna... just finish, finish off the... Uh... You're going to act like you knew it, but... <laughs> with a G or something like that? You either know uh, it or you don't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's it, it's Herky something. I think that he might have gotten the Lloyd's part wrong. Uh, her, 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 uh, her, 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 Herky, Herky bots. I'm sorry. This is... Uh... This is Ookla the Mock from Thunder the Barbarian. Oh, Thunder. Thunder. Of course. <laughs> there he is. I actually love the artwork on the uh, on the actual. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty great. That's like a Johnny Ryan uh, yeah. prison 
planet. Oh, yeah, the, and the great good. cartoon. So Thundar. it's up to you. I, I always get Hercules and Thundar transposed in my head. They seem identical. Yeah. Mm. Um, all right. Are we going to do one more round or what do you think? Do you want to wrap say? it up? Well, we got to do cyber videos yet, don't we? All right. Yeah. Let's do okay. the cyber videos. We got plenty more there. We're going to do it a lot. Uh, well, in the office at the Halloween special, we will finish her off. And even if it, I mean, even if it goes past Halloween, which I think it probably will, I think this is going to go into Thanksgiving. Probably. <laughs> it's, my new, so, it's my new favorite game. Actually. It's my new favorite <laughs> game, too. That's why we yeah. had to spread it out over at least three shows. So, yeah. yeah. And we do part two first, and then yep. we do part one. That's how it works. Saturday. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> All right. Let's now get into how to watch cyber videos on the internet. Okay, this is where we watch. What? Do we, how do we introduce this? Uh, this is how we learn how to watch cyber videos on the internet. Uh, who wants to go first? Steve, you want to go first? You got a nice new uh, graphic to play. Let's do it. Yeah. Do you need a sports star to sell your cars or advertise your local bar? We don't need charm and we don't need style. All you need is a C-list superstar. It's a joke sham. Joke sham. Joke sham. Joke sham. sham. Boring you with a signature draw. It's a joke sham. Joke sham. Joke sham. Joke sham. This rap is done. Now it's over to you. All right. It's over, it's over to you now, Steve. The rap was done, so now it's over to you. <laughs> strong. Strong. <laughs> So this uh, was actually sent in by the creator of that uh, jingle, uh, one Bob from Hull. It's a Michael Owen Dubai promo, and it is really one of the more awkward. So it, this promo is just he cut down to a short version. It's a much longer to get people to go to Dubai or to live in Dubai or something. But he is, I think he takes the cake for the most awkward <laughs> sports personality. What sport is it? Uh, he is Michael Owen is a uh, soccer player and I actually have his jersey behind me that I will show you guys but uh, that was just given to me but oh. first I will I will play is the video good? and I'll show he's you he's like good and well known right he used to be he was like the uh, English golden boy um, I'm trying to figure out yeah a few years later came uh, Michael Owen onto the scene he was England's golden boy for a bit before continuing to be okay <laughs> that's the way uh, okay. from Walden put him all right And this is no ordinary chopper. It's got special powers, and once we're airborne, you'll see just what I mean. Are you buckled up and ready? Great. Let's go and see Dubai. I think he's really flying, Joe. look a bit small Definitely. Here, but it is quite large. Roger Federer and Andre Agassi actually played a game of tennis on it. And Tiger Woods stood on it and hit golf balls into the ocean. Seems irresponsible. I'm glad they never asked me to play football on it. Uh, uh. Now, let's go see where I own my yeah, apartments. He's, he's, my is he have the same place. delivery as the life on the farm city. guy? Delightful. So you can play. But wait, this is a commercial or this is a tourism it video? Was, it was, yeah, it was part of a, uh, a promo video for a Dubai promo. And so, uh, yeah, it gets even more awkward from there. But the whole thing is like 10 minutes. And the uh, part that I had was like two minutes and I cut it down. But, down oh. there, you can see Pandy. <laughs> but interesting enough, someone, wow. had just given, yeah, someone had just given me this. So, Oh, nice. Okay. Works, wow. works together. He probably got a shitload of money for that too, for that awful video that everybody just mocks. And I think they gave him like, a, I think they gave him a house there because <laughs> you know or an apartment. He's like, this is that will go over to where I live, and then he goes. And oh, they, uh, well, his delivery was really good on the lines, <laughs> so yeah, he yeah. earned yeah. it. He earned the house. Well yep. well terrific well at soccer, terrific at pitching Dubai as a place to live. He sat in front of a green screen and nailed it. George, what do you have? Uh, well, to get more into the Halloween spirit, I found an early 80s episode of a Philadelphia talk show called People Are Talking. And uh, there's a lot here. There's awkward transitions in and out of commercial. There's onstage makeup demonstrations, a very creepy guest, live call-ins, and an audience more freaked out by the movie Creep Show than by actual snuff films. <laughs> 
sold. Oh, is it over yet? <laughs> well, joining us now is Dawn, John Maffei, makeup artist extraordinaire to all those horror movies. Joining us right now in our discussion of horrible things is Steve Vertlieb. Steve has been the uh, managing editor of Cinema Cobb magazine <laughs> for the past five years. Please welcome him. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you, too. You guys are... Uh... You guys are discussing some of my very favorite topics of conversation, sex I can and imagine. violence. We have a telephone call. Good morning, you're on the air. This is Richard. Hi. Oh, I might, I, I might change uh, my costume I'm and go, go as that guy I'm in the front. Wait, wait. Horror movie. Can you pause and back up? Because, Nick, I agree. I think that he kind of looks I could, like you. I think I could go as that guy for hell. I think you right look there, exactly yeah. like him. <laughs> yeah. That's you <laughs> and me, Nick. I just, <laughs> like, it's no joint. different. Couples costume, George? Let's do it. <laughs> and by, by the way, that, that's Richard Bay, who you might remember from the Richard Bay show yes. later in, in trash TV era of the 90s. Yeah, this is Richard. Hi. Hi. I'm, uh, I'm a, a freak for horror movies, but I saw a movie one time. It was done in like the late 70s, and it was called The Fun House. And the scenes were so real it looked like people were actually being killed and then i heard a lot of stories about films being done in brazil where pe people were actually being killed and i wanted to know if this was you know one of the films right that, i don't believe that was one of the films i'll let our yeah. experts answer that but there are were so, a phenomenon called snuff films actually mm -hmm. weren't they and there was one that played uh, actually in general release in new york i think that were the print right. was confiscated there, there was a rumor going around in the industry at the time uh, that there were films made somewhere in Brazil or Argentina where they had actually tortured and killed an actress and filmed it. And supposedly only if you were very wealthy uh, could you obtain one of these rare films. Uh, it's, never, it's never been proven that these films were actually made. It's my guess that it was purely a, a publicity gimmick. Okay, well, let me ask some of the audience here. What's the sexy, oh, sexiest thing? <laughs> What's the scariest thing you've seen in a movie? The film with the cockroaches, where the cockroaches came out and they came the out. Cockroaches. Oh, that was the uh, George Romero film. Yeah, I, I don't like things like that. Who's who raised their hand here? Would you stand up, please? What made you scream in a movie theater? It was um, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Yeah. What uh, happened? Uh, what the guy came out with a machete and cut the guy right in half. He was walking on his hands, and he cut him right in half. And, uh, one part went this way, and the other part went that way. <laughs> it was really bananas. It went crazy. It was, uh, it went crazy. It was bananas. Did you like that? Oh yeah, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see that again? Yeah. Okay, bring out the guy with the machete. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, Dana? And will Dawn, the woman who is having makeup done on her, survive? John's busily working on her. When we come back, we'll take a look and see how she's looking. Oh, I guess you can see right now. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, great stuff there. <laughs> fantastic. Wow. That's Love so it. good. That's so good. So it's whatever videos are made of. Yeah. Um, all right. I've got a one that is uh, keeping in with the hunktober spirit. Again, I have so many hunks. I can't have them in. I'm going to have to save some till next October. But in the meantime, Reese sent a promotional video. Uh, it's a commercial for Manpower, the Thunder from Down Under. Uh, these guys have played Vegas. Sometimes you see billboards for them. Direct from Surfers Paradise comes Australia's hottest export, Manpower Australia, set to explode on stage in their all-new production, World Fantasy, an extravaganza of international characters with that unmistakable Manpower touch. Manpower Australia is not only entertaining, it's visually spectacular. Manpower Australia, the thunder from down under. Book now. Like how how entertained would you? Be? I mean, uh, maybe I'm not the target audience, but like let's say they do like a cool show. There's lights and everything. How entertained? Even if you're really into this, how entertained could you be? Like how long is the show? I have a lot of questions about manpower. It's no well, cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, it's like it's hunks up there. Like people who are into hunks will probably like it. And but like for to like see, ninety like, hunks... minutes. I don't know. No, you, you says the guy who watched like... Al for fourteen hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, that's... exactly. Well, here's the thing that threw me off is I saw that it, that you're playing a manpower commercial in the outline, and I remember manpower is the name of a temp agency. Oh, in and, Madison, uh, yeah. Well, no, they're all over the place. Are Man they? Oh, okay. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a, and I thought for sure this was going to be a, a, an ad for a temp agency. And then you're like, keeping with Hunktober, I was like, they're going to have hunks <laughs> and their temp agency. 
No, I'm, I'm talking really... about the only manpower that matters. One thing I've okay. noticed too, but in hunk videos is all the male stripping videos. They're always a character. They're always a pirate or a handyman. Like with female strippers, they're just there's they're never really a shtick. You know, it's just it's like depersonalization. Yeah, whereas they, this is like, yeah, there has to be some kind of story, right, for the yeah. hunks. But the babes, I guess, is just take off your clothes or gyrate around. Uh, there's a good line here. Extravaganza of international characters. Look at there's one of the international characters. Do you think that's a respectful? <laughs> an international extravaganza. Yep. And he took it off and he was a mummy. Mm -hmm, probably. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's a uh, manpower. Thanks to Reese from Australia for sending us that. That's a good one. Um, all right. I have some IMGs. Chicken shit. Yeah! <laughs> All right, here we go. It's IMG time. I went with kind of a loosely Halloween theme here. Uh, you're going to see some scary stuff here, some gross stuff, some gore. Um, and here's the thing. Andrew sent in these, and they're all IMG 4011. He struck gold with IMG 4011. George, maybe like work up the numbers and like see how that's like an evil number or something, or I don't know. It seems like there's... I'm right. on it. Okay. Um, all right. And I think the first one's going to annoy Nick. So this is uh, right. IMG 4011 uh, from Andrew. Two views. He called it Good Morning Spaghetti and Meatballs. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Benny and the and Jets meatballs. playing. And it's meaty. About to pack it up and roll with it in just a few minutes. Meatballs are looking awesome. <laughs> Meatballs are looking awesome. <laughs> With some Benny and the plenty. Jets. So, yes, Benny and the Jets in the background and some like slimy meat being scooped yeah, up. Yeah, very irritating. Uh, um, all right, next up, you guessed it. IMG 4011, Andrew, five views. Uh, Andrew called this a very good kidnapping. Three, two, two one, go. Grab them. Come here. <laughs> All right, that's it to the ground. That's 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 good. Okay. Very good, very good. a very good kidnapping. So that was <laughs> a scary good. one. <laughs> we saw we saw the gross one. We saw the scary one. Now we're gonna get into some gore here. Uh, IMG four zero one one, of course. Thirty three views. Andrew called it. Looks like it hurt. And um, yeah, here's the gore. Also, like, why is this person taping this? Think about that while you're watching this. Okay. Oh, fucking K. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Fucking A. Fucking, fucking, fucking A. Oh, God. Fucking A. Oh, my God. Does it hurt? Yes. Does it hurt as bad as when you did it? Oh, fuck. About. <laughs> she skinned her knee. And instead of helping her out, he's interviewing it, her about it. Did it hurt? <laughs> Creating it content. Hurt? It's all at all costs content. Yep. content by any means yeah <laughs> did it hurt did it hurt as bad as when it first happened and then she's forced to answer about the unhelpful guy co-worker look like was that a guy i uh, i guess it doesn't matter um all right here's img i always picture as like the like the lunch lady was right next to her. I, th I felt like it was a school, maybe. Oh, could yeah, it did look. I don't know. I just Im I imagine this like world in my head. Well, well that's what IMGs are about. Yeah, you envision exactly. your own world. Yeah, exactly. George, you have anything worked up so far about four hundred one one? Well, let's you. You're probably still calculating. Yeah. Uh, it's divisible by three. I don't know. We're going to um, end with a cl uh, palate cleanser here. We're going to cleanse the palate with three eight zero one, and get rid of all the gore, all the scariness, all the grossness uh three views on this one flash sent this one flash is an all-star banana car wash <laughs> like the title nice yeah yeah it kind of feel like you got you got clean too yep rocks are done gotta sleep bye joe yep. in the intro there's a person wearing a white mask right yeah. Can you show that just for a second? I think I may, there may be an IMG in the news. 
Really? Yes. If you if you go back to that, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you talking about this one right it, here? It's a. Yes. Okay. You're not gonna believe this if you're. Uh, okay. Now unshare that for a moment. Okay. Now this was in the news yesterday. Kanye West was wearing that a white mask. Oh. Um, in Italy. Ooh. I think it's the same mask. That's the one. I'm yeah. looking at it now. Interesting. But I just I think it's disturbing that like the news will be on and suddenly I'm thinking of an IMG. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a timely tie in. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. That's it. I think that's it. That could be Kanye in that IMG. <laughs> yeah. He's releasing his next album as IMG is. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Um, all right, that does it for cyber videos. All right, next week, we're going to be in the studio for one of our in-studio episodes. It's a Halloween uh, episode, so stay tuned to see what the costumes will be. And uh, EP mode, I was, I thought, I just got this DVD in the mail. I've been in touch with the creator of Power Animal Fro- Frolics, who Theo turned us on to this. Tai Chi with people in costumes. I thought this could be Halloween-themed, you know, costume-themed. So we could watch some. Uh... You've been in touch with the person? Well, I ordered it uh, off off his website, and then the guy didn't send it to me. So I had to be like, "Hey, I ordered this," and then so I had oh, to be in. It was cust- a customer complaint. Then. It, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so I haven't like told him, "Hey, we're going to be watching your video." I just yeah, I had to, I had to get in touch with the guy himself, who is the mastermind behind Power Animal Frolics. So. Well, I was going to put in a request because we did home movie day the other day on Saturday. If people haven't seen Home Movie Day, uh, our, our show, it's on, it's on YouTube right now on our channel. And uh, I guess October, what was it, 16th is Home mm-hmm. Movie Day. I didn't even know that existed. And we showed some of our, vi- our home movies. We did it with Skip Elsimer from uh, AV Geeks. And he showed some of his home movies. And his wife, Katrina, showed some of her home movies. But we also showed some found footage classics. But we watched some... Uh, of your home movies, Nick, and I felt like it would be fun to like watch some of those. I mean, it's not, it doesn't really have like a Halloween theme, but aren't you getting t- kind of sick of the Halloween theme? Like towards the end of the the month, it's just like, all right, I'm all about Halloween doubt. I'd rather uh, watch. Some, I'd rather watch some old Nick videos. <laughs> I I cannot get Halloween doubt. It's my favorite holiday, but I do. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have some of these videos that are really embarrassing. I've digitized yeah. a bunch, and um, I haven't. I've only shown some snippets that i i'm able to tolerate um well i feel like i feel like we'll find out some new information about you we'll find out new things that irritate you Mm -hmm. uh and uh yeah and and george and steve you're welcome to watch some of these too i just feel like it's just gonna be i think it'd be so fun just to watch how nick became who he is today i mean look Uh, at it's uh all right i'll put together some uh you yeah, do I, that, or I mean, we yeah, can just, we can gauge it. We can see what people want to do. But well, yeah, uh, let us know in the comments. Which, I mean, or would you rather both. see uh, Power Animal Frolics, who Nick uh, complained to recently about the video not coming? Well, out. I ordered it a month ago, and no, no, you know, radio silence. But um, okay. we can do both because we have two more weeks of October, so we can do both. But what do you want to see first? Let us know in the comments. Um, and um, uh, yeah, what else? Well, I wanted to talk about Home Movie Day because uh, Skip showed one home movie that just haunted me. Do you remember the one where it's like, I think it's called Ohio Vet Power. And it's like uh, shot on 16 millimeter. And I think it's like this retreat for, we, we, I don't know. We had so many theories while we were watching it. We didn't know what it was about. It appears to but, be businessmen uh, at some sort of, yeah, retreat. W- whether they're veterans or veterinarians, we didn't know which ones they were. But uh, it just looked like a secret society. It looked like George, Steve, did you guys see this at all? Did you watch it? Not yet. Okay. No. Um, all right. So Caleb was watching it and it was, it was uh, totally silent. And I was like, this needs a soundtrack. Caleb jumped on it and uh, added some scary music that, uh, that he made for uh, Ohio Vet Power. I'm just going to show you one scene from it. But you can watch more of it. You can watch the entire thing on the home movie day thing. He added this music. This is Kale's music? Yeah. Before it was just silent. You just hear like the, the film reel. Like, look at the person with the umbrella. And then Frank Pachowski's laying there on the stretcher. And a chicken is pecking at his chest. And there's, and there's like a game show host on the way right. He's laughing hard. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, there's somebody wearing one of those umbrellas, that you, the, the hands-free umbrella hats. 
Um, the things you never knew existed catalog. Yeah. So that's just one of the. This, this is like alien autopsy, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what they're cutting open. It's a, the first chicken surgeon. Yeah, and there's like an audience there too. You can see some of the heads at the bottom. Um, it was like the new pledges had to wear these umbrellas and then go through a series of stunts. Yeah, and now they're doing a pie eating contest, but then the umbrella hat man is still there. I mean, it's all very like Masons. Uh, I like the music. Society. Yeah, the, the music's really cool. So John Carpenter esque. Yeah. Um, so anyway, check that out. Home movie day. It's our special. Saturday our, morning cartoons. Yeah. We're sticking with Halloween and. Uh, Caitlin, our favorite uh, uh, from the Philly, Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum. We're going to watch the Garfield, the actually scary Garfield Halloween special from the early 80s. So Yeah, hopefully they'll let us upload that. Uh, who knows? I mean, we've had trouble in the past. So if you don't see it there, I don't know. Where it's, do we... on, it's on YouTube a, f- a few different places, so I think we'll be okay. Well, I think the Garfield people put it up, but yeah, others we'll see. Did, others did too, but yeah, we're, mm, I think we'll be no, okay. I don't think they did. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. I'll send you um, the link in the chat. Okay. Um, all right. So what else did I want to say? Um, oh, t-shirts. We got the uh, hot rock. If you ordered a hot rock t-shirt, t-shirts that are hard to explain, it should be arriving uh, pretty soon. Like we were, we're supposed to arrive here. Everything's slow now. Like shipping is all slow. So, uh, but um, I'm excited about our next one. We got a mock-up of our rocks winning workout idea. Look at this sweatshirts. We're going to do rocks winning workout without weights sweatshirts. We spent a lot of time getting that drop shadow. Correct. It has to be the right level of drop shadow, the right shade of yellow and the right shade of blue behind it. So that's going to be our next t-shirts that are hard to explain. Yep. And we were, we're not even going to show you the clip that it comes from because then it would be easier to explain. So we've only shown it like 28 <laughs> times on the show. Well, so. we showed Doral Silverthorne actually in the, uh, as a costume and that comes right. from that video so yep. yeah and i qu- and i quote it every single vcr party so this this yep. is a must-have sweatshirt i agree um and yeah just in time for the cooler weather uh we're also back on the road we're going to be in albany this saturday um and uh we're playing a place called the linda i'm excited to uh, play this place it looks really cool yeah it looks like a good one so and, and then um, uh we're going to minneapolis and eau claire and madison and arlington and brooklyn and then we mentioned ohio milwaukee chicago trying to get a grand rapids show going so we're back on the road uh, between now and december yeah and because of that we're not going to do a halloween special we usually do a well we did a halloween special last year but we still have them available if you want to watch our halloween webinar we have it as a digital download on uh, store.foundfootagefest.com and uh, you can see it on our SLP streaming service. Uh, it's all at the Found Footage website. So well, what are we going I, out on? I teased the Adina yearbook song. I think uh, everyone's going to enjoy this. So uh, until next time, we'll be right back right after that. If we had been prepared, we could have done better. Remember to get your VCR jack-o'-lantern. Head over to lunchmeetvhs.com. And remember, everybody's a puppet when they're dead. You're the killers. Your whole sick society. return, Dr. Selner will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all. That's it. Let me see that one. Rocks are done. Gotta sleep. Bye. That's it. That it done. We did it best. 
What do you think about Bibra? About what? In a my nose is for yuck anymore. Ooh. That's all I'm doing. Triodo. Tinkerbell. We'll be right back right after that. And Kurt Polster, the real great guy. Nice, nice. <laughs> Goodbye. Jim's coins in Hilda.